Okay, thank you very much, everyone, for being here, and to Klaus Keil for inviting me to this most stimulating conference. Um, as, as a musicologist who has published on the history of music at cities, courts, and in churches and monasteries, on office chant, and on medieval music theory, I regularly use online databases. What I lack is easy access to sources from before 1500, to notated liturgical books, and to organ manuscripts. To compile a list of musical sources, for example, from a particular city or time frame, requires many books and much effort. So putting B-series information online in RISM would help me and other musicologists greatly. So, I see this as the problem. Generally, data from manuscripts and prints of the early modern period in RISM A and some volumes of the B series is online. But most B series volumes and as not yet cataloged in RISM notated chant manuscripts like antiphoners and organ or keyboard tablatures and manuscripts and some choir books of polyphony, especially those from before 1500, are not online. There's no easy way for scholars to search for these items. And there is the problem that entering data takes people, time, and money, as well as a plan. The issue of the work and subworks has a role here. I am wondering about giving work titles to books. I think the category of work should include the entire manuscript or printed book because the genre of book can instantly represent all of its content, as with an antiphoner. And the genre of books that are compilations of works are useful to have for searching. Main work and subworks. We learned on Thursday that some works comprised of subworks, like romantic song cycles, there was the example of Die Winterreise, can be cataloged as a work, Die Winterreise, and also as the, the works within can also be catalyzed, cataloged as works. Papers yesterday and today have discussed the relationship of a main work to subworks. A main work, uh, so the main work with present or absent subworks is also an issue. We've learned that cataloging opera arias not in all opera sources or opera overtures circulating separately are problems. The solution. By cataloging the entire book as a work first and only later in time, the selected works within, Many problematic manuscripts and prints, including those currently not online, could be made available online relatively quickly. Prioritized cataloging, omitting all or some subworks, could allow pre-1500 items that are already printed in RISM B to be included online in a timely manner. For example, I think if only one work entry and source entry per manuscript in the Resume B volumes of theory and processional manuscripts, for example, or of polyphony, if those were made in MuseCat, this could be finished relatively quickly and the project would be self-contained and I think eligible for funding. This cataloging would bring very beneficial search results for scholars. Nevertheless, I want to give you some examples of how works and with subworks might be cataloged. I, as I've said, works as books should be cataloged first, then main subworks should be cataloged. One should not spend time cataloging every single chant in an antiphoner. This isn't necessary. Crucially important is information about notation. Here follow three examples with works and subworks combined to explore both. Example one, the Buxheim organ book. So the title would be the commonly used Buxheim organ book title. Uh, composer, unknown compiler, or one would find an equivalent term. Or 
if one wants to give only an entry of Buxheim and include the subworks in that entry, then it would be a list of, in addition, all of the composers of the works therein. But I am proposing that that be cataloged separately. Date, circa 1460. Origin, South Germany or Switzerland. Contents. Here, there are op two options. If we want to keep it simple, organ compositions and Paumann Fundamentum. Or we could give a detailed list of all of the works. Uh, source description. This is very important. Um, the, and this should, would go in the source uh, entry which would be separate. The shelf number, obviously, but somewhere the number of folios, the size, the notation, origin, destination, and or provenance of the source, and names of scribes, copyists, or owners. Other work entries, if we're going to then separate out the subworks, Conrad Paumann, Fundamentum, Organizandi, and the individual works with incipits. Or uh, one could also list all of the con contents under Buxheim Organ Book as for an opera. So the question is how to dispose of this information in the different categories. I leave this to the librarians. But my main feeling is that we need a work title that encompasses the entire book. Uh, now the next one. A Graduale Missarum of the Abbey of St. Bavo of Ghent. The work title, Graduale Missarum, by using a Latin title, this avoids confusion with the gradual, that's a mass proper, um, of St. Bavo of Ghent. Um, composer, uh, unknown compiler. Date, time span, origin, St. Bavo. Contents. One can, for liturgical books, say uh, which season of the year, temporale, sanctorale, commune sanctorum. That's a quick way to give the contents in sufficient detail. But if the book includes unusual pieces, for example, this one has an anonymous credo in falso bordone and a two-voice gloria. Uh, these can be cataloged separately as subworks, or maybe there's another place where they could be placed. And also the notation is different because here we have mensural elements. The source description, it's a two-volume book in Bruges, and then the main information about the book. But what I'm trying to say is that here we do not need to catalog every single chant. Um, this would be entirely sufficient for a scholar to have an idea of what is in this book. Um, especially because the book is also online. Uh, the Kiji Codex, Choir Book of Polyphony, uh, uh, composer, unknown compiler, date, uh, origin, contents. One could give number of polyphonic masses for SATB. SATB can be, a, if we start to get into the codicological uh, the actual diplomatic transcription of the names of the voices, this takes forever. Um, source description, the call numbers and uh, description of the notation. Separate work entries for the compositions included, that could, those could go separately. Um, other genres of work as book, and these are the very common ones that one finds in the Middle Ages, but I have omitted here those that I do not think are a priority, and also that would dra dramatically slow down any attempt to um, make progress in cataloging the not presently non-cataloged materials. Um, there are no missiles or breviaries here. Um, all of these are items that have uh, notation and um, are principal music books of the Middle Ages. Uh, so the problem for the subworks is to choose what to include and, and what's, what matters. So I'm going to give a couple of examples here. An antiphoner uh, 
with four local proper saints offices and chant and a gathering with invitatory tones. We need to know about these separate items. So catalog the antiphoner as a work, the invitatorial as a work, and each of the four local saints offices and link those. Um, or let's say one has a hymnal of chant with one polyphonic motet with voices in white notation. We want to know about the hymnal and the polyphonic motet. Uh, considerations. Um, here's another example, an organ book with a lot of miscellaneous mass music, which is untitled. There are a lot of books like this. But let's say within it, there is a set of magnific Magnificat versets in the eight tones. Those need to be cataloged as a subwork. Um, for an antiphoner, I would say only local or regional proper saints offices should be cataloged, and those typically one needs to use the first the incipit of the first antiphon of first vespers. So Hermanus Contractus Historia Sancti Emirami, Sancte Emirami. That's first antiphon of first vespers. Um, it would be best to prioritize book types as works without subworks if the full description is available elsewhere. So one could, would have only an entry for the book type as work and for the source and uh, with a connection or indication of where it's cataloged in the printed RISM, in the B series, for example, in the census catalog, in Grove Sources, in Mayer's catalog, in the Contus database, in Gallica, relics, Renaissance liturgical imprints, or some, some other source. Priorities. Whole books that are already in a RISM volume, like in the B series. But there are also non-RISM items that ought to be included in RISM. For example, antiphoners and graduals have not been cataloged by RISM. But some, many of these are already in published catalogs. Um, or in online library catalogs. Other non-RISM fully notated manuscripts, choir books, organ books, antiphoners, graduals, hymnals. These are important manuscripts. There aren't as many as we have for missals and breviaries. Uh, so I think that ultimately it would be possible to um, include these. And and this is a kind of last category, also important. Non-RISM, fully notated prints that are already in published catalogs, such as the late printed graduals described and studied by Theodore Karp, or the printed chant books of Guillaume Niver, also studied. So what we would need is some kind of standard heading for book types, and these probably exist. Procedures for cataloging each book type or work with set priorities, that is, when to catalog which subworks. The advantages for scholars. Um, searches by source and shelf source or shelf number would bring up the work titles of the whole book and of its subworks. So we would have a better idea of what these shelf numbers are. Uh, searches by work as book would bring up all those in the database, so it would be possible to get a list of antiphoners or of graduals or of tropers or hymnals or, or organ manuscripts for the mass, uh, so forth. This would be extremely helpful. If a search word, Paris, were added, one would have all of whatever from Paris. And that could even, if one searched only Paris, then one would have a long list of all kinds of useful music books. Uh, searches by book features, if this were possible, like tablature, rotulus, or even dimension, if, ge if general terms were used, like octavo or quarto, that would permit new kinds of codicological and bibliographic research because it would help us to have an idea where such books might have been kept in early libraries. Uh, cautions, I think setting priorities is important and estimating timing. I think this could be possible by counting the repertoried Series B items that are not online. 
limiting sources to Western music at first is, I think, desirable. Who could help with this? National RISM teams could find ways to transfer major library catalog entries for works that are book types, such as Antifonarium or Graduale, et cetera, into MuseCat. I don't know how this could be done, but maybe librarians know. And here I give a list of information that I'll transfer about people who know about these early sources and have been involved in related projects to catalog them. And with that, I say thank you. <laughs>